Welcome to a Medic Mindset Microsode. I'm Ginger Locke. What's the opposite of fragile? We've come to believe that the opposite of fragile is maybe something that's durable, or maybe the word is resilient. And you hear this term a lot. We aim to be resilient in emergency medicine. But the opposite of fragile isn't something that simply won't break. The opposite would mean it actually gets stronger when put under pressure. What's the word for that? Dr. Heidi Abraham recently reminded me of the word when she reminded me of a book that I tried reading once called Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain from Disorder. The philosopher Nassim Talib offered that word, anti-fragile. And I actually don't recommend that you read the book because it's a struggle to get through and it's got a ton of economic and technological examples of things that thrive in chaos. But I do find the concept fascinating and I think it has implications for medics. I had an opportunity to moderate a panel discussion with a group of medical directors at the Texas EMS conference, and the session was an hour long, and we covered a lot of topics, mostly clinical. But as I was moderating, I looked in the back of the room, and there was a woman kind of in charge of keeping us on on track with time, and she held up two fingers, and I knew that I had two minutes left, and I knew that I had four medical directors in front of me, and I saw that as a window to ask a question, and the question was, how do you give feedback to medics who've made errors? You'll hear four voices, two of whom you've heard before, the airway evangelist, Dr. Jeff Jarvis, and white tiger, Dr. Jason Pickett. A third male voice is Dr. Taylor Ratcliffe, and you'll also hear a female voice, that's Dr. Abraham. She gave me an answer that I've been thinking about every waking minute since and inspired this microsode. Listen in. I have a non-clinical question. How do you give feedback to medics who've made errors? So I was one of those medics made an absolutely terrible error in the field, and we've only got about two minutes left, but let's say I came to you and said, I did this. How do you re-educate me? How do you, what's that conversation look like? And or, am I even talking to the medical director or do I talk to someone else? So just very quickly, what I will say is the first thing I'll do is thank you for telling me, um, and then tell you that I have made some truly heinous clinical decisions. Um, and it is a function of being human. So the idea is you didn't do this because you wanted to do it. And I'm, I'm guessing here that you want to figure out how not to do it. So let's work together to figure out how not to do it again. Root cause analysis. Why did this happen? Performance system problem, educational problem, personal health problem. I wrote the protocol wrong problem. That's, that's big to me is to figure out why did this happen? My first question is, well, my question is, walk me through this call. Walk me through this and, and tell me what happened. Uh, for one thing, it signals that I'm actually listening to you and that the conclusions haven't been drawn based on the very limited report that I've probably received, the complaint from the hospital or uh, the chart or something like that. And just sit down. Let's talk about what happened. And a lot of times as you go through that, as the medic tells the story and, and you ask some probing questions like, what uh, what did you think at this time? What, what information did you have at this moment when you made that decision? Then the medic can self-identify uh, the cognitive error that occurred at that time or whatever contributed to that undesirable outcome. I think you've got to have a just culture approach, which says you're also not just looking at the medic and calling them a terrible medic, but let's look at the system also. Um, my other favorite soapbox and all my medics in the room are rolling their eyes. How many of y'all have heard of the term of, uh, or the concept of anti-fragile? Okay, so anti-fragile. So your assignment is to go home this evening or to the hotel or whatever and Google the art of manliness, which is a blog, and anti-fragile. There's a... Careful. Maybe not it's a syndrome, right? No, no, it's, it's actually a safe <laughs> not block. Not from a work computer. It's, fragile. it's a safe Ex block. Anti-fragile is actually a book written by an extremely intelligent and difficult to read academician, like some other academicians we know. And basically what he's <laughs> <laughs> arguing is that there's actually, so we've always talked about resilience in our, in our field, correct? So what this guy is arguing is that there's actually three categories. There's fragile, there's resilient, and there's anti-fragile. Something that is fragile is like a china teacup, right? It breaks and it is never the same. Even if you glue it back together again, it never looks as good, it's never as functional. We don't want that. Something that is resilient is like uh, the phoenix from Greek mythology, right? Burns down, comes right back. Burns down, comes right back. Goes through hardship, goes through a bad experience, goes through a patient error or something like that, and bounces right back again and says, oops, never going to do that again, but doesn't do anything to actually improve from that. A system or a person that is anti-fragile is like the hydra, right? So you chop off one of the snake's heads, two or three more grow back. 
chop off one head, two or three more go back. So goes through a hard experience, goes through a bad experience, and takes that as an opportunity to get stronger and better. And I think that's something that we need to keep in mind when we're dealing with error is not just how are we, how, you know, slap your hand, don't do that again, but let's take this as an opportunity to build you as a medic, to build the system, and to grow as a result of that. Thank you. Yes, Dr. Abraham, thank you. That is a mindset reframe, and exactly what I'm trying to put on this podcast. Resilience means we have the ability to quickly return to our baseline. Anti-fragile, on the other hand, is a concept that says that after an adverse event, we go through a metamorphosis, and after that, we've transformed into something better, something stronger than we were before. Dr. Abraham said that she thinks this is important for medics because it's a helpful way to reframe the chaos of emergency medicine, that it gives us a little more control over the situation. It keeps us from feeling quite so powerless. Sometimes we're overly quick to figure out how to soothe ourselves when we're suffering, and we call that resilience. But there are lessons in that suffering. Sure, I could have bounced back from that colic, but by mucking around in it, struggling with it, wrestling with it, I learned everything I could from it. And at least in that one little area, I'm forever anti-fragile. If you want to hear the full hour of the panel, you can go over to the EMS Lighthouse Project Podcast. Dr. Jeff Jarvis and Mike Verkess were nice enough to post it over there. You can also find it at Dr. Pickett's Austin Travis County. EMS system office of the <laughs> of the medical director podcast. Man, that's long. Medic Mindset is sponsored by iSimulate. Thank you, iSimulate.